Hi, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we are going to understand about a unique tool, which is FNO scanner, which will help us in identifying those intraday fast moves, which happen in various different instruments out there in FNO. But before jumping directly into FNO scanner, I would say that while using FNO scanner, it's very prudent for us to understanding the open interest data of options so that we can go ahead and easily find out an opportunity from the market. So first, let's me try to, uh, let me just try to explain what we are looking out for. So now, let's try to understand it in a very simplest of ways very quickly. Now, the strike price with the highest call open interest is my resistance level. The strike price with the highest put open interest is my support level. Now, Whenever we look at the open interest data, we look at it from a writer's or a seller's perspective, assuming that on this strike price, highest calls have been sold. So the instrument might not surpass this level. Obviously, the levels will keep on changing. It is not a static figure. And also support is basically where the highest put writers have sold their puts is something what we assume, right? So open interest is generally assumed from a seller's perspective, although it involves buyers and sellers both, okay? So let's try to take it forward as uh, it has been assumed in the market from a seller's perspective. Let's say this is my uh, ATM strike. Okay. So this, the small one is my put. Okay. So this is my put strike. Okay. And this one is my call strike. So now let's say if uh, instruments prices are moving like this. Okay. Okay. So it is basically the heavy call writings which are happening on this ATM strike, which are not letting the price to kind of surpass this level, right? There are there, there is some kind of a resistance which is getting built up over here due to which the instrument kind of reverts after taking a resistance over here. Now, let's say in a particular day, if you observe that the instrument prices have already reached at this point, okay, and you suddenly see that there is, let's say, a 20 percentage unwinding in the ATM option, in the ATM call option. And also, there is addition happening to put OI. Now, unwinding on call tells you that the resistance has got weakened, right? A call writer will exit his position. OI will go down when the existing position has been squared off, right? So, in this case, if the OI is going down, so open interest will go down when the call writer is worried that there might be a spike incoming in the instrument. Okay. And if at the same time we are seeing an add the money put option where the open interest is increasing. Okay. There is addition happening to put OI that tells us the support is getting stronger and stronger. And let's say even on the other strike. Okay. Let's say this is another call strike. Okay. Where Again, the open interest has kind of shedded on this strike price. Okay. Let's say of, uh, let's say on this strike of 10 percentage. Okay. That tells you again, there is something which might come in because there are a lot of short coverings happening on call option. So that might be a case that they are expecting a spike to happen in an instrument. And when a call writer will cover his position, when he is expecting, he is fearing that option to get doubled. Okay. So, manually to go ahead and find out such short coverings, let's say on add the money and closer strike prices to add the money. Manually, out of 189 or 190 FNO stocks, humanly it is impossible. By that time, we fetch those moves, our move might already get triggered. Instead of that, what we will do is, we will use the FNO scanner and find out such opportunities. Okay, So, FNO scanner is a tool which will help us in finding out an opportunity out there in the market, it will tell us looking at the options and the futures data, which instrument has witnessed the change which we desire to look out for. Okay. By the way, the 10 percentage and 20 percentage unwinding just was for an example. We will understand in this FNO scanner tool how we can go ahead and identify such stocks. Okay. So basically, we are looking out for a short coverings happening on call options and maybe additions happening on put options so that resistance is getting weaker and support is getting stronger. And if for negative move, we will look out for short coverings happening on put. We will look out for stocks where the support is getting broken, the put OI is getting unwinded and 
the call over is getting added the pressure building up but the support getting weakened is something what we will look out for in the negative move so this is how fno scanner looks like first we will get to see the instrument okay whether it is options or futures we get to see the symbol strike price type of option uh, again self explanatory expiry price of that option price change in terms of percentage oi change in terms of percentage iv and the built up that has been witnessed further we can go ahead and search for uh, our desired fno instrument let's say tcs so there is nothing happening around in tcs according to the price change which we have given an input about so first the tool will ask us the instrument what is the type of instrument we want to conduct or run our scan in so let's say options then the tool is asking us the type of option we are looking out to run this scan in so let's say we will select call option then the tool is asking us the expiry like on in which expiry basically we are looking out to run this scan in so we can go ahead and select our desired expiry so let so let's say 25th of november monthly expiry then the tool is asking us what is the kind of price change i want on that strike price okay or on that option which i am selecting okay the call option which i am selecting so let's say i want to see all those options where the price of option has uh, let's say gone up by 50 percentage and open interest of that option let's say has gone down by 20 percentage okay if you just want to leave any of the figures blank let's say i want to leave uh, the ivs blank i can keep anything blank over here and just hit on the apply button so all these are the strike prices where open interest of that strike has at least gone down by 20 percentage and the price of that option has at least gone up by 50 percentage so further we will get to see all of the instruments which are listed below so it's lt which is appearing frequent times it's hin petro and oberoi reality now how we are going to make the most out of it okay at least looking at this screen you know that in this three fno instrument there is a short coverings happening on which option on call option now when will a short positions get covered in call when the call writers expect the price to kind of spike up right so in this particular scenario if we focus that lt oberoi reality and hin petro in all these cases the call writers are panicked over here they are facing that heat of the moment so to be honest not necessarily we should do it on the short covering side it was just because it is very simple for me to explain a short covering scenario we can also find out the moves which have a long built up okay so let's say i want to look out for such uh, strike prices where the price of option has gone up by 100 percentage and open interest of that option let's say has gone up by 30 percentage so i am looking out for such strike prices in call where the option has doubled so you can do it on the long side as well there is no hard and fast rule to go ahead and only find out a short covering okay so again lt 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 and lt okay so it tells me that lt has witnessed a long on call and also short coverings happening on call option okay so the first thing doing this scan is i will just run the scan of the previous thing which is 50 and 20 so the first thing i uh, get to see is basically that i know something positive is kicking in in lt okay multiple strikes or short coverings has been happening so the similar move i was trying to show you with the drawing is something what we are getting out here in lt now if i didn't have fno scanner i never would have got those moves so you know we can use fno scanner to first you know filter out the opportunities from the market okay ab abhi not necessarily we will get exactly the atm strike or you know one or two strikes otm but at least we have an idea we have 3 to 4 5 or i would say three stocks on a radar list from 190 basket that itself is a great task so further once we get an opportunity our next thing is to analyze that opportunity even more so let's say lt okay so lt's price 
so now it won't be the case this all the open interest over here okay all the open interest on this strike and also the additions on the put came exactly at 315 or 330 right even if we would have run this scan in the opening hour when the lt's price was around 1840 ka level still we would have got that there is a short covering happening on lt's 1860 LTS 1840 call and LTS 1820 call option. So it won't be the case that suddenly, in a fraction of a second, all of the calls have been unwinded, right? So I'm trying to explain that if you run this scan in the opening hour, okay, you will get such stocks. Probably you would have got LT, not necessarily 20% unwinding, maybe 10 or 15 percentage of unwinding. in the opening hour and also you would have got that there are a lot of additions happening in the put oi okay so your idea is you will look out for fno scanner in the opening hour maybe let's say from 9:30 onwards when you get a sentiment of the market having a bias on the market is very prudent for that so once you get a bias on the market you can go to fno scanner look out for you know the short coverings happening or the longs happening on calls come to open interest check how significant that quantum is okay now why we are in open interest let's say if that short covering was on this strike okay just assume that whatever short covering we saw that it was on this strike and the price is trading right now over here that data does not seem significant because it is a way far out of the money call which has witnessed a short covering yeah if let's say if i find out let's say when the price is trading at 1840 okay i see this strike this strike this strike this strike a lot of short covering happening okay and also additions happening on put that tells me the support has been intensified okay so okay that will give me a confidence and this is how i can filter out the stock from fno scanner but further analysis is required we can go ahead and dive deep into the entire option chain or entire open interest for the instrument which we selected in the open interest panel and further if you want to you can conduct your own analysis you can plot it down the charts you can probably open it in future oih to know the strength you can conduct an volume analysis using various different tools in quantsap so the idea is that none of the single tools will give you a direct rate all the data points make a lot of sense when they are clubbed along with each other and used in a sync okay so in this video we learned about fno scanner so probably you can switch your scan okay not for short covering only you can maybe make it 10 percentage or 15 percentage negative and price change as 50 percent positive apart from that let's say if you want to find out the instruments where the price has gone up by 50 percentage and oi has gone up let's say by 25 percentage okay so basically you are looking out for long and you will click on apply and this is how the tool will directly help us in finding out such strike prices specifically which have witnessed the open interest going up along with the prices going up of call options if you see hr motors have shown for put as well because we didn't give an option about the call options So let's say Siemens. I got Siemens. I don't know what is happening in Siemens, to be honest. So I will open it in Open Interest Panel and have a closer look look on the Siemens data over here. Also, my an analysis won't stop over here. I can use it future OI volume analysis and maybe the charts to go ahead and get a better idea about what is happening exactly in the instrument I selected. So yeah I would say that was it from this my side for this video try to use fno scanner in the opening hour itself from 9:30 onwards till 10 10 15 maximum don't try to use it too late because you might get the data which has already happened because the changes in the open interest and the price are shown to us considering what the current situation is okay so in uh, let's say in kotak bank 1900 pe price has gone up by 96% oi has gone up uh, by 16% till the current time if you do it at 930 you will get till 930 what is the change which has witnessed so thank you so much also check out fno scanner in our mobile application 
so the things will remain the same only the ui would be a little bit different but also i would say that the ui in the mobile application will also remain the same so do check out fno scanner in quonsap in mobile application so thank you so much see you all in the next video